Please write this problem down, then press pause in this video, timing yourself, provide yourself with two minutes to complete this problem. Okay, to solve this problem, it says write a rule. Can every underline the word rule? Rule means a formula. You can write the explicit or write recursive. But I've already stated that explicit is user friendly. Explicit is the easiest way. So when you write explicit formula, there's two things you need to know. You need to know the first number in the sequence and you need to know the common difference. Now to figure out the common difference, you take the second term, subtract the first term. Second term is 9 tenths, subtract first term, which is 3 fifths. Some of you are going to do that in your head, finding a common denominator quickly. Others will feel more confident using a calculator. Make sure to put your fractions in parentheses. I'm going to turn it back into a fraction. 3 fifths. 3 fifths is the common difference. Oh, sorry, 3 tenths, excuse me. All right, so how do I write this? rule, which is an explicit formula or recursive formula. So a of n equals the first term, because this is a positive number, plus the common difference times n minus 1. Then I'm going to distribute through 3 fifths plus 3 tenths n minus 3 tenths. Three terms, two of them are like terms. Some of you, again, will do it in your head. Others are going to feel more confident using a calculator. So 3 divided by 5 plus a negative sign, which can be found below the 3, negative 3 divided by 10. I turn it back into a fraction, and I get positive 3 tenths. A of n is equal to 3 tenths n plus 3 tenths. Is it always going to be the same number? No. This happens to be a coincidence. Okay, the next part. Use this rule you created to find the ninth number. So I want to know the ninth number in this arithmetic sequence. So a of n equals, sorry, a of 9 equals 3 tenths times 9 plus 3 tenths. Grab the calculator. 3 divided by 10 times 9 plus 3 divided by 10. I, and I don't even need to turn it back into a, a fraction because it's just a whole number. The ninth term in the sequence is the number 3. The ninth term in this arithmetic sequence would be the value of 3.